and I rule the waves, making sure every sea creature remains. My husband, King Titan, he died long ago, leaving me guiding the tide all alone. But now it's my time to kick back in the water and pass on the crown to my beautiful daughter. A jewel of the seas, we've christened her pearl, and soon she'll be in charge of this wondrous world. She's headstrong and cheeky and quite unafraid. And known to her friends, as the little mermaid. Now off you go, that's it. <clears throat> Christian, have you 
see Princess Pearl. Yes. Doesn't she, she realise how important today is? <laughs> well, where is she? Here I am, Mother. Hi, Mama. Oh, my darling, thank goodness. Yes, thank goodness. You mustn't keep disappearing like that in the past. Today, the underwater kingdom becomes yours. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about that. I was wondering if we can maybe push back my coronation a little. <laughs> Why don't we delay the ceremony by 30 minutes? 30 minutes? I was thinking more like 30 years. Oh, oh Mother, I sometimes wish I was a part of the royal family. <gasps> All right. Meghan Markle. <laughs> Meghan Mackerel. Funny. I want more down here. I want more from life. I want to explore the human world. Ridiculous, darling. We've already spoken about this. You are not coming to the human world. What have you to be seen? Or even worse, call the mother of her own butt. You're not going to the water service ever. Do you understand? Yes, mother. I understand perfectly. Oh, come back here. You're having a great time. Oh, well, that went well. Um, Your Majesty, I just wanted to check something with you. See, I was going through the VIP gate yesterday, like you asked, and um, did you remember to invite your half sister? See the bubbles. Oh, dear. Octavia, no, of course not. Why on earth would I invite her? That creature is pure poison, and oh, well, I'm having enough trouble with my own daughter. Right, you are. In fact, I should probably go and try and find her. See you then. Pearl is so stubborn and passionate. <laughs> it reminds me of myself in my younger days. Yes. Oh. Years ago, as a shy young thing, my dear father said. You're going to marry the king! <laughs> oh, don't you know that you're still number one? Girls, they wanna have fun. Oh, girls just don't wanna have Hit it, boys! That's all they really want. Some fun. When the working day is done, Fish told me that a coronation was happening today, so I thought I'd pop along and take my place as the rightful ruler of the kingdom of the sea. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. My daughter Pearl is next in line to the throne. Have you forgotten that King Titan was my beloved brother-in-law? Beloved, no, no, no. You hated him. You made his life a misery with your evil and destructive ways. But I was so upset when he died. Oh. <laughs> Still. Every cod has its day. Now, we all know he wanted to marry me anyway. That crown should be mine. Over my dead body. Well, there's not a, lot, not a lot we can do over your dead body, love. Except play volleyball. Oh, no. Now, when, when I'm queen... You I'm... queen? That will never happen, Octavia. You are all alone and you have no friends. Can't swallow. It's true. That's not what I meant. You can't, boss. Audience is that way, love. Huh? Turn around. Very good. Meet cods and voila! Oh, a couple of idiots to do your bidding. Well, they don't frighten me. Perhaps not, but this should. What up, my trident? Hurry up, love, come on. Oh, just give me the fork. Ha-ha! What's the matter, sister dearest? Catfish got you a tongue. The magic trident, but that belongs to the king. Oh, I thought it was lost. You stole it. Not at all. He gave to me with his last dying breath. Honest. Now who has the power? Enough. Whilst I am still queen, what I say goes. God, I'm tired of your wicked and devious threats. I banish you now to the murky depths. But now in all eternity, you will spend your days at the bottom of the sea. I have banished her from the kingdom of the seas. Make sure she leaves and never comes back. You'll regret this, Oceana. Your days as queen are numbered, and I've plans are plenty for that precious princess, Pearl. I guarantee you haven't seen the last of me. <laughs> Oh, dear. With the king's magic 
have tried to Octavia is more powerful than I ever dared to imagine. Her passing words are most concerning. I fear perhaps the tide is turning. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I'm just not cut out to be captain, am I? All the who's and the what's and the, the, the tomfoolery and the... Oh. Yeah. 
You're like a Pokemon's final form. Um, <laughs> and brains, you can't even name two crustaceans. Yes, I can. Well, go on then. All right, I will. Well, um, well, there's, um, there's, oh, there's King's Crustacea oh. and there's Charing Crustacea. <laughs> What's coming to all that? Honestly, the depths to which you'll sink. I mean, what is your problem? I've got sister, and we often argue, but never like you and the Queen do. You've got a sister? Yeah. What's she called? Michelle. Michelle. Hobbs. <laughs> and what's she do? She sells seashells on the seashore. Hey! <laughs> your sister Michelle sells seashells on the seashore. She certainly, certainly does. This goes well. Certainly. I've had a so, uh, so, are you sure the shells, your sister Michelle sells, are seashells? Yes, because she sits and searches the sands and sips the shingles. I'm really glad that one didn't go wrong. <laughs> so the seashells your sister Michelle sells are seashells for sure. Yeah, because she sits and searches the sands and sips the shingles with a tiny, shiny, silver shovel. <laughs> your sister Michelle sits and searches the sands and sips the shingles with a tiny, shiny, silver shovel. Doesn't she get hot? No, because she wears suede sandals. And, 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 a size 16, <laughs> short sleeves, <laughs> chiffon, <laughs> shirt, go. I hate you. <laughs> so, let me get this straight, right? Last. You were telling me that your sister Michelle sits and sits and stands, sits and sheets, with a tiny, tiny silver shovel, wearing suede sandals and size 16, short sleeves, chiffon, shirt. So she tells your sister Michelle, tells the sheets, tells the shop. Pardon? Oh, get out of here, you! I'm not trying to waste with you! Oh, you're nothing more than a pasty on legs! Ooh. How dare you! <laughs> Do you realise that? Now, I'm you gonna... listen to me! Oh, Sienna marrying the king was the worst thing that could have happened to me! When the old fool died, she got everything that should have come to me! Now, get out of here before I turn you into crapsticks! And you must be careful, too!